think I had a hard day today. She um, has not wanted to eat much. She hasn't been feeling good. I came home at lunch and I found her crying her eyes out in the closet facing the... Hi, Nika. Hi. Facing the wall. So this is like the nature of her crying. It sounded like the thyroid yowl. And just like she was dying, like she felt so terrible. And she, um, if I, Nika, if, if I, um, like engage with her, she'll stop crying right away. But otherwise, if she's by herself, she'll just face the wall and cry her eyes out. I don't know if that's what everybody does. Anyways, um, so I give her Serenia in the morning and CBD at night, but she definitely has not wanted to eat or drink much today, the past few days. I don't know if it's a pancreatitis that's acting up again. Oh, there you are. Or if it's part of the thyroid progression. I contacted the hospital to ask them if this is kind of like what happens as the thyroid levels come down if they start doing more you know symptoms because like when she first got diagnosed she was doing that same kind of yowling so I was thinking well maybe there's a certain range that they yowl in and then when her thyroid got super high where are you going mama then she was kind of like a zombie before she got her radiation um so anyways, poor little kitty. She's not feeling very good. She's not wanting to eat very much. And hopefully it'll pass very soon. We love you, Mika. You're a brave girl. Very brave girl.